Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'm a chiropractor located in Upland. I've been there for about 14 years now. I've had about 20 different interns from high schools, from colleges, from universities, uh, locally. What I want to give you is things that's going to take you from now and beyond successful in your careers. Ladies, you guys have worked hard to get where you are. Fantastic. Now you have to work harder. Okay. A lot about healthcare is caring. Surprising me enough, right? Okay. How do you care? What does it take to care? And for someone who's a patient, which I think all of us have been patients before, to see that you do care. It doesn't take a lot, but it takes certain things that I've found the last 14 plus years in practice that I've been turns I've been trained to do that help them succeed in their life maybe as a medical assistant, as a nurse, as a doctor, just an overall life. One thing is, do you smile enough? One, two, three. Couple of you. <laughs> right? Okay, not everyone does automatically. I had one intern that did not for a while until I harassed her, harassed her, harassed her. When you smile, does that show that you care? Doesn't matter if it's an office or a public place, whatever it might be. It helps you gain trust with your patient. And also, too, when I do a lot of talks outside senior centers, um, outside talks, local neighborhoods, too, and schools, a lot of people say when they go to the doctor's office, they just don't hear me. Okay? They spend five minutes with me, they spend two minutes with me, I'm there for an hour, whatever it might be. How do you show that you listen by really looking at them for once? You guys got this before, too. By really paying attention to what they're saying. It doesn't have to be for an hour, it doesn't have to be for a half an hour, because I can get bored, too, sometimes. But can you spend enough time with someone so that you listen, so it shows again that you care, okay? And a lot of it here too, and, and like they mentioned too earlier, a lot of it is we need you. We need you to not only start where you are now, medical assistance, but also grow into other professions too. Again, you're licensed now, but now what does it take you? What's your next step? Do you want to work at this level? Do you want to become a nurse, an LVN, a doctor, whatever it might be, maybe even a chiropractor, God forbid? You can't like myself? <laughs> I wouldn't correct that. That's crazy. Crazy life. But can you do something that works for you, that fulfills you for the rest of your life? I love what I do. I take care of people. I saw about 25 people today. This morning for I worked about probably two and a half hours. I had two interns work with me for that whole period of time. I had running the whole time. But I want you to understand is that what doesn't work for you, learn that and love what you do. Love being with people. Another thing too, do you say thank you enough? in your text, maybe your verbal text, emails, whatever it might be, maybe not just for you guys, for everybody, do we say thank you? When we do, that shows again that we care, okay? We want to make sure we show appreciation for the people and also respect them too. Even if you're, the, if you're the medical assistant or nurse, can you say thank you for coming in? Thank you for letting me help you. Thank you for letting me be with you today and hear your stories, okay? A lot of it is to, beyond saying thank you, is also the second word is, I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming in today. Those are things we should make part of our normal language, I think, just in general, to show that we care about each other as human beings. Because we're all humans, right? For the most part. I think so. So can we help each other understand that and be part of that process of showing that we care as humans in our medical system program, other programs too, and continue on to overall overall life. Do you have the handouts too? Yeah, okay. I gave you some handouts. This is what I have in my office that I read every day to walk in the door. And part of these, after, I'm gonna, I'll read in a second. A lot of it is, can you show and, and express it in part of your daily habit, your mindset, of keeping your mind right when you walk into an office, maybe we're working, maybe somewhere you're volunteering to or interning like my interns do. You walk in the no matter what happened that day, Whatever that was, you had an accident in your, in your family, tragedy, you were feeling all that day, maybe you hurt yourself, whatever it might be. Or if you're a Dodger fan, you lost the <laughs> game where we're no longer in no the World Series. But can we do enough to walk through and go, I'm going to be with patients today. I have to have my mindset right so I'm ready to go. Okay, so it's all about attitude. What do you do on your own outside of here now that you've graduated, right? Okay, you get that attitude right every day. Maybe you're reading the Bible. It's up to you, whatever you want to do, or reading that you can do. It gets that mindset ready to go for you to care every day. Okay, I'm gonna read this real quickly for me. What is the what is the Hippocratic Hippocratic oath? Do no harm. The normal one, right? And it's kind of like for me. It's kind of like okay, I'm not gonna hurt anyone today. Hopefully not. That's the plan. Okay, that's the everyday plan. This is what I read every day in my office from Hippocrates. Also, the task of a health professional is to cure occasionally, 
to, re to relieve often and to comfort always. Okay, I want my patients to leave my office with a smile on their face because I told them a corny joke or something. Something where they feel like I was taking care of today. Maybe not with their back pain or neck pain, but I was taking care of, I was respected, and I was cared for. All right, so thanks for letting me talk today. Congratulations, girls, and we'll see you hopefully soon. The students being recognized this evening have listed